What's going on guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today we're taking out the M3 Bradley which was added in the 1.85 patch. And I'm having a lot of fun. I'm also having a little bit of frustration, quite frankly. <laughs> and it's all because I'm trying to learn a new tank style. This is not a traditional tank. This is not like a Tiger II or T29 which has a main weapon plus an optional coaxial machine gun which, quite frankly, rarely gets a kill. You have an ATGM launcher, you have a main weapon, and you have the optional machine gun. So you've got multiple weapon systems to, to, to deal with, and it's all kind of complicated, or it's new, I should say it's new. All of that on a vehicle that has virtually no armor. It's, it's a very lightweight vehicle. You've got aluminum armor. You're basically f driving around in, the, in a pop can, or soda can. <laughs> but it's, weapon systems, they are very, very dangerous, as this poor ZSU finds out. So let's start off with the tow missile. You, in, your, in your launcher, you've got two tow missiles. They travel at approximately 300 meters per second, which is pretty quickly. It's also worth noting that the ATGMs do not reload independently. So if you fire the first one, you have to then fire the second one in order to, to reload the first. They reload together at the same time. You've also got a 25mm cannon. Now the stock shell is actually quite good. Half of it is HEIT and half of it is APDS. Do not stress out over which shell to, to, to use. The first upgrade is a tier 1 modification. Three quarters of the ammo is meant for anti-aircraft. The tier 3 modification is mostly APDS. It's 75% APDS. However, do not stress out over getting that modification. Get your traditional uh, fire protection and parts first, and I would probably go for uh, for the engine upgrades after that. I would rather have mobility than the better shell, believe it or not. The, sh the, the additional APDS shell, it's nice, but you're not talking about a full loadout of APDS. It's still 75% APDS and then 25% high explosive incendiary tracer, which again is primarily used for anti aircraft roll. As you saw earlier in the video, uh, this does get radar, so that's why there was that lead indicator on the aircraft. And you're going to see another kill in uh, a little bit. But the the armor, it's it's not very good, but it can it can save you. And in this instance, I know there's a tank here. All I can do is blind it with my with my main weapon, and then wait, wait, and wait for the AT gems to to get up, because you cannot be traveling more than 10 kilometers an hour in the Bradley before the AT gems will come up and be activated. It's it's a very frustrating aspect about the Bradley, but also of all of the uh, infantry fighting vehicles. But as you can see, we still managed to do okay against that guy. <laughs> but believe me, I was panicking when I came across that guy. I got shot. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking dead. Now mark this leopard over here on the up uh, on this little hill, and then push towards the XM1. I am a light tank, so I can go to, go over here and uh, help the XM1 repair. So that that's that's basically my goal here is to get over there and help him out. Mark the leopard for my teammates so that they can uh, take him out. And I've got a number of teammates in the area. And so far, what I've had the most success with being is a support tank. Being relatively close to my, my allies, helping them spot vehicles, scout them, help them repair, that sort of thing. You got it, buddy. And he's able to repair before I can get there. So, in the, in the end, it all works out, I guess. Now, the other approach that I've used is to be a stealthy little boy. And that is hide in the trees. And let them push out. Mark the one in the front. We got a T-55 with a broken barrel. Just lay into him. Take him out. And go in pursuit of the other guy who managed to sneak away. He's headed obviously towards the middle cap on this map. Was there, there a third tank here? I don't see anything. It's just the other guy. He's making a beeline. It's funny how this guy never tried to find me after I killed his ally. But I just lay into him from the side. 
And uh, the MX-30 just doesn't have much armor. Able to get two kills really quickly, and then we push into the cap. Trying to get that triple cap. Funnily enough, even though we got the triple cap in progress, we ended up losing this battle. Sometimes teams just collapse, and this was one of those battles. Here we go. We have an airplane inbound. You see the got the radar working. Just lay into him. You see the Bradley doesn't have a, a ridiculously fast fire rate, but it's fast enough. And I wish I knew which shell that was that killed him, APDS or the high explosive incendiary tracer. Whichever, whichever it was, it obviously was uh, very very successful. So we mark this guy and just lay into him with the with the main gun. He fires and misses, and I just open up with my ATGMs once it's stabilized. He's dead. <laughs> it's this is fun. It's honestly fun to use this. But it's uh, there's a high risk, high reward sort of thing with this vehicle. If you it, like, like in that uh, engagement with that T55 AM, I should not, I absolutely should not have survived that. But sometimes things just work out in your favor, and I've had some really interesting, uh, I wouldn't say bounces, more like through and throughs. You know, a shell, a shell goes through the the uh, hull and just does nothing just goes through and does nothing to the crew members or to the engine it's a uh, really it's really interesting armor it reminds me a little bit of some stories that I've heard of people who played the BMP2 it's like the, sh the shells just don't hit anything so nothing happens so this is going to be the first full battle that I show and uh, I'm just coming over here to help spot anything that's over here because I don't want them to get on that flank if I can stop that just ping these guys for my ally because I've got I don't know if you noticed but I've got a teammate right next to me and I'm gonna let him get get a kill actually he's gonna kinda of get a couple of kills thanks to me but I'm also gonna use my AP gems you see that fast fire rate those those tow missiles just fly and there's his first kill I get some intelligence This is great for completing those intelligence tasks that you sometimes get from the war bonds. Nicely done. There we go. He's dead. He had a broken gun barrel, but that's okay. And now we are on the reload with our with our tow missiles. And you can see the reload isn't too bad. You get 12 tow missiles total, which is really nice. I have I have yet to run out of tow missiles so far. And I'm just going to work with this little Japanese guy. We're going to help. I'm going to scout him, and he's going to kill him. This has been, so far, my most successful uh, playstyle. It's just being a support vehicle. Oh, look at this guy. Mark him for my teammate. Light him up, boys. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun, believe it or not. I don't I don't have a problem with not getting kills. I don't need five kills per battle to be successful or to to consider it a success. If my team wins, that to me is a success. If I'm having fun, F2 is a, is a success. And since we seem to have everyone dead, let's, let's just go on up here and push this, the cap. The Bradley is capable of doing 66 kilometers an hour according to the stat card. However, I don't think you're going to get that speed, like, ever. Uh, War Thunder doesn't have enough flat terrain. And I think, more than flat, I think you would also need, need it to be paved. So I don't think you'll ever realize that 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 speed, but it's definitely a a light tank. You you can definitely feel uh, how quick it is. Where is everyone? That we 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 got the guys at the at their own cap. We've beaten them back from this cap. 
So let's go over here, get out of the smoke, and let's uh, use our binoculars and see if we can do some scouting. Maybe we can scout, scout up some guys and get a couple more intelligence. We got somebody here. Something's on that road coming in. You know, I'm not going to stress all over it. I'm going to get over here, see if we can find something over here by their cap. All right, an IS-6 just killed one of our teammates over here. Where are you, buddy? I got two fully loaded tow missiles just for you. Come on. There you are. Nobody over here. Whoa, that was close. What was that? And an Object 120 sniping from the from the hill over there. But that's okay. We got him scouted. Let him let him uh, get hit by our, one of our teammates. Come on, IS-6. Oh, you, you weren't scouted there. Now we got you. Come on, get into the cap. Come on, buddy, push on through. All right, light him up. Got his engine. We'll finish him off the crew compartment with a second tow missile. <laughs> it's it's so satisfying to get kills with the tow missile. The main gun, your your 25 millimeter, scout him again. Your 25 millimeter is only capable of of so much. I would say the mo the, the majority of your kills are going to get uh, are going to be had with the tow missile, simply because the 25 millimeter, even with the uh, fully upgraded APDS shells, is not capable of penetrating the front of the majority of the tanks that you encounter. Particularly the Soviet vehicles. Off the top of my head, I can only think of something like the ZSU-57 or the uh, Object 906 or something like that that you can penetrate easily from basically all angles. Most Soviet vehicles, you have to get on their side and you have to be within, say, 500 meters. Like that Object 120 just got killed thanks to our scouting. The teamwork, by the way, I just I gotta give a shout out to the team teamwork was all over everyone uh, everything I I marked I think got killed eventually it may have taken them a minute but but they got it now, as far as the German and and uh, and French vehicles that you encounter uh, Germans are pretty easy to kill for the most part the, the only tank that I've had problems with so far would be the m48 and uh, I actually died because I misjudged uh, and an M48 for a Leopard. And a Leopard is pretty easy to take down. I've killed many of those frontally and from the side. And as far as France, I think the only thing off the top of my head that I can think of you can't penetrate with the 25mm frontally would be the Fosh, the MX-50 Fosh. And for that, by all means, use the tow missiles. You've got 12 of them, and that, that should last you a good long time. The only time that I've seen someone run out of tow missiles is when they were using this vehicle as in a camping or what you might say is a uh, is a defensive sort of position on uh, Middle East where a guy literally I think he got like a, like nine kills with with the Bradley and he just took up a, a very defensive position but you can see the tow missiles they're they're pretty darn strong and they travel very quickly at 299 meters a second so with good mobility an awfully good ATGM launcher a relatively good uh, secondary gun with your 25 millimeter cannon I would consider the Bradley to be a very versatile tank it is obviously not going to carry every team is not going to carry most teams in fact but it's going to be a very capable vehicle in most uh, in the hands of most people it's going to take some adjustment getting used to the multiple uh, guns, but also getting used to the to the ATGM system and the fact that you can only go so fast. I believe it's 10 kilometers an hour is the maximum speed, and anything above 10 kilometers an hour will force the gunner, I, I assume, to lower the ATGM system so that I, I presume so that the bracket doesn't get damaged. But I don't know. It's still a what it does is it really balances this out, because if, if you could travel 
at 30 kilometers an hour, say, and still fire these, this vehicle would absolutely wreck havoc, and everyone would be using this thing. And for good reason, obviously. The Bradley at 8.0 is a very good vehicle. But even, let's say if you die in the Bradley, you've, you've still got a lot of vehicles to take out in an 8.0 lineup. Say you, you lose your Bradley, you still got the T95 E1, you've got the option of a premium T54 E1, then you got two SPA in the M163 and the M247. You've got a helicopter as an option in the AH1G. And let's not forget about the 7.7 .7 tanks that America is famous for. You got the M60, the M48A1, the M103, and the Premium Magok. And then there's the, all the aircraft, all the jets, the F2H, the Shooting Star, and so on and so on. America has a very strong lineup, and I suspect that the M3 Bradley is going to play a major role in, the, in that lineup in the next couple of months as people unlock this vehicle. It's really versatile, it's a lot of fun. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care, guys.